Hello and welcome back to friends, it's me Odo and I'm back in my campaign of May we have a moment of rest I'll find a kingmaker. Why do you want to rest again? After our last Yeah yeah it's okay. In rest. <laughs> I went on this journey of my own free will, with Saren Ray's blessing. Why are you giggling? Did I say something funny? Of course. Okay. Um, we made some chilled rice because we can travel faster. Hmm. We're just moving back to like um let's just travel here. Uh we fetched everything that we left at the Stead Lords. Let's fight. Why not? It's free XPs. Hmm. No. The man I won't. Ooh. Well, Wait. What? <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay. Let's just kill them. Stab their backs. This was easy. Ooh. We even did Two shots at once. Great. Let's connect everything. Let's connect everything. Let's move out. Quiet footsteps. Just, just move out. Wait, what? Lindsay? <laughs> Why are you doing this? <clears throat> May we have a moment of No. Let's try to avoid this. This takes too long. We should gather our strength. No, um No, we are not doing this. This is stupid. See? We did get here. Before we got fatigued. Easy cheesy. So what we'll do next is the following. We'll sell everything, we go to sleep, and then we go to rest. Oleg, come on. We sell this, 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 of course, this, this, and this, and this, and the two stairs. What's that? That's a scimitar. We keep these. Okay. Uh, this we keep for an alchemist we pick up later on. And the rest we just sell. And 
this we keep and these we keep and this we keep and this we'll keep as well probably um what's that break silver pendant i'm not sure probably this will help us somewhere sometime in the future That's the okay. Just getting some red there. We're putting in there these and this and this. And then um, let's sleep. Okay. So why are we doing this all the time? This is uh, the second time that I saw this, that we are going in circles around these two. So Oleg, let's... Go to Randolph. Where we get our barony or kingdom or whatever. Nice to see I haven't lost my intuition for people. Not many would have managed to set out to the stolen lands and return with the stag lord's head, mm -hmm. but I knew you could handle it. Mm -hmm. Congratulations are in order. Today, you'll receive the title of Baroness before the High Society of Restov, and even Natala Sertova personally. God bless her. Tomorrow, you'll be able to return to the stolen lands if you wish, but this time as a ruler. Mm -hmm. Go away, cat. cat. Go away. My cats are very interested in this place because I'm eating some nougat eggs. And they know if I'm eating nougat eggs, they can have the well, silver foil done into a, uh, into a ball. All will fly away and you will follow it. And there they go. Interesting. Okay. Thank you. Matters of state can wait. For now, enjoy this feast in your honor. All the city leaders are here. It's a great opportunity to make some useful connections. Okay. Speaking of connections, let me introduce you to Kasil Eldori. He's my adopted son and apprentice. He's a trustworthy man. I'd like to send him with you as an envoy. I'm not sure if I like this guy. He's an orc. <laughs> He's a half orc. And he looked like an half orc. Hmm. You already know about my encounter with Tatucho. Of course. Keston gave me a full report. You dealt with the scoundrel perfectly. It would be naive to think that none of your neighbors will try to stick their hands in your affairs. Especially that sly fox, Irovetti. Mm -hmm. And you as well, you even want to put a spy in my court. Too many just one. Kind of game, are you? Yes, you certainly have that right. But tell me, how well do you know Brevoy's history or the current political atmosphere? It won't be an easy explanation. 
mean I never took him. I I started three times. The first time when I when I was playing alone, I took this stupid young boy who betrayed me later on. Second time I took the suit of a lady. Ah, oh, come on, come here. Give it to me. No, not there. I will throw it again, cat. Oh, my cats are so nice. Hmm? Oh, sorry, cat. I'm here in a few seconds. Sorry, <clears throat> I wanted to throw the ball for my cats again, but I threw it that badly that I <laughs> don't know where it is and my cats didn't find it either. Yeah, anyway, um, what did I say? Ah, yes. And uh, second time I took the NY from the house suit of us, so this time I will probably take him, although I'm pretty sure that he won't be friendly as well. Let's see. What do I, do I need to know about the history of Brevoy? Okay. What's now called Brevoy was originally two different countries, Rostland and Isiac. 200 years ago, they were stuck in constant squabbles. Then, Coral the Conqueror showed up and united the two states into one. Such diplomatic tricks are easy to manage when you have dragons at your disposal. So it's um the uh it was a dragon guy like the mm, Game of Thrones lady. The so-called noble houses of Brevoy, namely Sortova, Orlovsky, and Lebeda, once ruled over Isiac. We, the Aldori, ruled Rostland. The royal house Rogarvia, founded by Coral the Conqueror, forced us into obedience. But 200 years isn't long enough to make peace with such a troubled history. Even 2,000 years wouldn't be enough for us to accept Isian rule. Brevoy is a country held together by a thread, and that thread grows ever weaker. Okay. Mm. We, the Aldori, and the great noble houses spent 200 years under the rule of invaders, the royal house Rogarvia. We plotted, we schemed, we stabbed each other in the back, but open confrontation was out of the question. But a few years ago, house Rogarvia disappeared. No one knows how or why, but one day their manners were just empty, and the force that held Brevoy together, that kept us from a bloody feud, ceased to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Brevoy is currently ruled by the House Sertova, the former kings of Isia, but their power pales in comparison to that of House Rogarvia when they were here. So now Sertova and Aldori stand facing each other, staring each other in the eye, waiting for the other to draw their sword. It's an untenable situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once a civil war. That would drown Brevoy in blood, but peace between us is also out of the question. Okay, what role do I play in Rosalind your plans? To regain its independence, and we will regain it. The power the Issians hold over us is humiliating and costly, and the Sertovas won't give us our freedom without a fight. That is, 
Unless there is some external power that can force everyone to sit down and talk. Do you see where this is going? No. <clears throat> Stolen lands are disputed territory. Brevoy can't appropriate them without raising protests from each of the neighboring states. However, if some brave people were to found independent states on that land, it would be another matter entirely. My hope is that you and your future neighbors, Baron Hannes Drelev and Captain Mager Varn, will become our allies. But this one will be nice. Would introduce a powerful counterbalance to the aggression <coughs> of the noble houses. Yeah, whatever. With your help, the inevitable division of mm -hmm. Brevoy can occur mm -hmm. without too much pain. We hope to get some help from the Maivani Aldori, the descendants of the Sword Lords who have fled from Coral's rage to build a new nation in the south. But the Issians know this well, and are doing everything they can to deny us this hope. I won't go into details, but if my intelligence is correct, if a civil war starts in Brevoy, Maivan will be too occupied with its own inner troubles to interfere. Okay, so... You are just a troublesome troublemaker. You don't want peace, you just want the Indians gone. I really don't like her. Although she seems the noble one. Uh, but on the other hand, we are lawful evil, so... Pff, are we the noble ones? Restoff is a free city, proud of its independence mm -hmm. from everyone, including the Aldori sword lords. But when it comes to Rostland's liberation, our goals align. This whole plan is our joint creation with Lord Mayor Josef Selenius. If Natalia is already here, why did she let you grant me the title? Actually, she could still intervene and disrupt the proceedings. But she's a Sertova. Their games are always complex and multi-layered. They're always looking for ways to turn defeat into victory. If she's decided to allow you to become a Baroness, it means she already has some idea of how she can turn it to her benefit. Let's consider how she could do so. Maybe she understands that Rostland will inevitably separate and she doesn't want a war. In that case, new states in the Stolen Lands give the Issians a reason to sit down and talk without losing face. But that's an optimistic view. And truth be told, it doesn't quite match up with what we've come to expect from the Sertovas. Well, probably they should rule you and you should just accept it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure about the Sertovas, they are like arrogant and stuff, but also um, it's part of the Eldoris, they are also kind of the more likely scenario is that Natala wants to win you over to her side. If war breaks out and at least one of you stabs us in the back, Rostland will be surrounded by enemies. Mm -hmm. That might be enough to bring about our downfall. Mm -hmm. But you would go first, and your newly formed states would be left in ruin. The Issians always like to have someone around to pull their chestnuts out of the fire for them. A piece of friendly advice? Don't do business with House Sertovas, no matter what promises they make you. Any deal with the noble houses is a deal with devils. Mm -hmm. So she didn't like the Libertar deal as well. What happens so next? Now, we're in the middle of a big game. And today, you move from being merely a piece on the board to being one of the players. <laughs> okay, thank you for your explanation. I don't need an envoy. Yeah, of course not. If you don't like Cassil, you're free to choose someone else, but I won't be able to vouch for the loyalty or trustworthiness of another envoy. So we've got the possibility to have one of three. He's one of them. Enjoy your evening. When you're ready for the official part, come to me. Okay. Can we speak to him? 
loan. Not sure about that. Guest, guest. Karim. Karim! How about you talk to me? A feast in times of pestilence and the pictures am to sink into reverie to digress from contemplation of its own insignificance. Guest, guest, Anis Drelev. This is one of my neighbors who will become barren as well. This man's gorgeous clothes hide rippling muscles beneath them. He looks past your ear, obviously bored. Baron Hannis Drebber says offhandedly, emphasizing the word Baron. And you must be the Staglord Butcher, I'm sorry. I quite forgot your name, but you took out the Staglord and his gang. So, Sword Lord Gemandi is granting you permission to take his place, right? Well, congratulations. My lands lie to the west of yours. I suppose we're neighbors now. Ha, huh, politeness. He deserved. Okay. So what did you do to deserve that? I don't need to deserve up or prove anything. Countless generations of my glorious ancestors have done so for me. If I had a slightly bigger army, Sword Lord Germandi would have simply given all of the stolen lands to me. Alas, I don't have so many soldiers at my disposal, so she had to urgently make barons. <laughs> of the likes of you and War and Okay, so you have no army and no special merits. You were just given land for being pretty. <laughs> yeah, goodbye, you idiot. I can't remember anything in the game doing with him. Probably. I won't probably meet him anymore. Or, I mean, the first time I played, I didn't didn't do everything. So, mm. try the eclairs. They are delicious. A spunky geek. Who's that? I can't remember seeing him. A handsome man with a weather-beaten face grasps your hand tightly in his rough ah. This is one of the, of the religious. Um, <laughs> he wears a simple robe. The only luxury you see on his on him is the holy symbol of Aristil. Ugh, Aristil, made of solid gold. The other guests look at him with respect, some bordering on awe. Okay, so he's a priest. Congratulations on your victory, he says in a deep voice. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a monkey key, high priest of Aristotle in Rizzo. Diplomacy 18. Mm -hmm. Bringing law into the stolen lands is a difficult endeavor. Yeah. We just have plus three. Oh my gosh. I knew I should have taken persuasion. Oh, but we succeeded. Mm. This is truly amazing. This is a truly noble undertaking. I believe your community will be able to provide you with reasonable assistance. We will help you construct a shrine in your capital, free of charge. That's nice, I think. Do many people of rest in rest of venerate Arastil? They revere many gods in rest of. They pray to Abadar. What's Abadar? City and law, yeah. Arasma, this is the god of the dead, and there are also some more rare cults, but there's no denying that the stag god has the largest congregation here, and no wonder, people here have lived off farming and hunting for centuries. The nobles dress in silks and satins to stand out from the poor. A priest 
with a simple rope to stand out from the nobles. <laughs> yeah, it was an honor to meet you because we did the diplomacy check. There's a guard. There's a guard. There's the mayor, Jamandi, Castle. Let's talk to Castle. See what he says. Nothing. Okay. An older man with full sideburns looks at you with interest the, through a golden eyeglass. Well, now, if it ha isn't the hero of the festivities of our dear Jamandi, you pulled this all off quite cleverly, I confess. I am convinced. Blah, 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 blah. I don't believe we've been introduced. So it would seem. I'm Joseph Salemius, Lord Mayor of Reston. I rule this town and they chase me. As your northern neighbor, I hope we can look forward to a long and fruitful friendship. Are things in Reston? I don't want to boast, but things have been going well in recent years. Trade prospers, the population grows, and the citizens are happy. Although recently, especially after the disappearance of House Rogavia, mm -hmm, more and more troublemakers have been appearing, and people are talking about the most shocking things. But those sorts of rumors aren't worthy of our attention. Ah, provides politics seem complex and incorrupt. To many here in this part of Rostland, the spirit of northern freedom still lives. We are loyal to the throne, of course. May the gods prolong the life of his highness. But here, far from the dominions of the great houses, we have our own way of life. It is especially important now, after certain events, I probably don't need to name. Eldori sword lords used to rule Rostland. They are still the largest landowners and main military force in the region. But it's not for nothing that rest of us call the free city. We are proud to choose the Lord Mayor from among the citizens, and it is not by their lineage, but by their own merits. What kind of event are you talking about? Why an aspiring politician needs to be well informed. I'm talking, of course, about the disappearance of... Okay, yeah, we heard about that. Can you imagine it? Old man Coral conquered our land two centuries ago. It would be a shameless lie to say that nobody wished it for a house could just appear into thin air. But once that exact thing happened, turned out nobody was ready for it. Poof! All over the country, every member of the royal house disappeared without a trace. Nobody knows what happened. It is a mystery. A mystery pregnant with opportunity for everyone. Goodbye. Please wait a moment. Your young barony will need resources to establish itself, and from what I've been told, you're somewhat in need of financial assistance. Well, we have already a shrine. Organize and supply everything you need. The construction is spread out the cost on extremely favorable terms. Yeah, of course. I could immediately procure, let's say, 500 cartloads of building supplies. I'm sure that would give you a good start in exchange. I would ask a small favor. Until you repay the debt in full, simply assume the obligation of contracting building services to the Resource Builders Guild. Do we have a deal? Yeah, I don't accept it. That's rather expensive for us. And buy. Okay. There's a guest. Ah, oh, there are the Sotovas. Let's speak to her as well. 
Ah, Natala Sutova is discussing something with an unfamiliar old lady in a low voice. Upon noticing you, she pricks into a sugary sweet smile. You are not only tough, but quick. Well, congratulations on your victory. Enjoy it while you can. Brett, what do you think awaits me? It was a pleasure meeting you. Oh, yeah. Nothing good, I fear. You and Dory, our dearest friends, didn't deem it necessary to inform you of their plans, I assume. You see, they are preparing to separate from Brevoy. It will not be a peaceful process. They lack the, they lack the strength, currently, and using this legal loophole to create some independent allies. Once the civil war breaks out, your lands will be the first to endure a strike from the wise forces. Perhaps they'll erect a memorial stone in independent breast of to honor you. Well, I wouldn't count on even that, really. So what would you propose? In your situation, the most reasonable course of action would be to align yourself with the lawful rulers of Brevoy, the noble houses. Yaldori won't dare to rebel, knowing they will immediately become entrapped. You could help Brevoy avoid the civil war, while simultaneously enjoying some well-deserved peace in your lands. Well, I don't want to be fighting with you nor with the Eldori. I believe Jamendi has already attempted to impose a guard on you as an emissary. I'm guessing her lowborn stepson, the green-skinned boy Cecil. It's up to you, of course, but I would recommend you a different envoy. Please meet Chandra Merve, an experienced diplomat who is more familiar with Brevois' politics than any brawler could be. Ah, oh, she really looks nice. <laughs> I would be happy to help you establish diplomatic relations with Brevois. I'll consider your proposal. Think on it. Not make any hasty decisions. Okay. Well, we won't. Guest, guest, get Christian, Kasten Garas, guest, Miguel Varn. Well, Tatuchu, pick Wells, government, how did we know? Whatever. Ah, uh, Miguel Varn. This is my neighbor to the east. This man is obviously more comfortable on the battlefield than in the company of nobles. He's well built, but the expensive waistcoat he's wearing doesn't quite fit properly. As though it was borrowed, he has a few pale scars across his face, and his dark hair is drawn into an unkempt ponytail, with a few streaks of grey running through it. He greets you with a broad smile and a firm handshake. Let me introduce myself. I'm Mega Varn, the new ruler on, of Doomsward, your neighbor to the east. Like you, I'm about to be a baron. Great job with the stag lord, by the way. Not everyone could exterminate a whole gang of bandits with such a small team. How did you earn your title of baron? Truth be told, my team and I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. Jamandi Eldori needed someone reliable to take and hold the territory. I'm the captain of a mercenary team that wasn't clear, landing host. Have you heard of us? No? No matter. We've done work for Jamandi before. This time, the task was simple. We just walked into the area, cleared it off the most brazen monsters and built a small fort to hold the place. And for that, a barony and, a, and land to own. It was a dream job. How do you feel being a noble? Like a peasant on a plate. I've killed all kinds of monsters, but this is the first time I've so strongly felt like turning away 
could get me eaten. He nods towards an arrogant man on the other corner of the room. See that, lad? Baron Dreleth is not like us. Who knows what generations of Baron he is? What generation of Baron he is? Didn't even shake my hand. You and me? We're like dirt beneath you. That's why those like us, newly made nobility, need to stick together. Otherwise, he'd take my land and yours in the blink of an eye. Mm hmm. Yeah, you're right. This one is nice. We will meet him later on. Goodbye. Once you've settled in, come pay us a visit. Of course, we'll do. Guard. Chapel, how about you? They call this a feast, I'd show them some real festivities. If they a merry guest, and there he is, Nanda Lebedar. He's a really slimy guy. Handsome, well dressed young man of an about seventeen years old looked at you with a polite smile. So you're the famous slayer of the stag lords, soon to be Baroness. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My name is Lander. Just Lander. No last name, no title. Well, let's just say I'm here incognito. Under my circumstances, it's wise to keep one's lineage to oneself. Truth be told, that's precisely what I wanted to speak with you about. You see, I'm an heir to one of Brevois' noble houses. I won't say which, but believe me, a newly appointed baroness with no connections would do well to have a friend like me. Yeah, of course. I travel the country in secret without servants, servants, so I can see it for myself, not from a carriage window, but face to face with the people. My family would never approve, of course. But then I never ask. I need to know Brevoy if I am going to rule a part of it someday. Yeah, of course. I know Chamandi wants to impose the taps on on you as an emissary of Brevoy. Refuse. Take me instead. Don't look at my age. While they may have trained this half-orc to swing a sword, I've been training to rule since I was a child. I'll be of far greater use to you. But both now and in the future, I have a firm position in my family. Of course. You will betray me later on, stupid boy. Are you from Restop Nobility? Oh no, I'm not from here. I'm just visiting. You could say I wanted to be for myself the heroes who managed to conquer the frontier lands and the Lord Mayor has, was kind enough to invite me to his wonderful party. Blah, 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 blah. I'll consider your proposal. Okay, I mingled with the guests and talked to everyone. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Lady Jamandi. So, how do you like our little gathering? I hope you've made some useful connections. Of course. Shall we move on to the official proceedings? Before we begin, I'd like to talk about the envoy I'll be taking with me. Ready for the ceremony? I'd like to speak with the guests some more. Okay. Could we take no envoy? My 
Countess Cassiel Aldori will go with you, won't he? You know, that's my decision. You choose, I won't argue. But you must choose your inner circle with the utmost care. Yeah, and this is why I take your stupid steps on. Excellent. Stand here. Okay. Let's do this. And now we are Baroness. And ladies, yeah, whatever. We are here to honor three brave people who have done the impossible. They've tamed the stolen lands. Did they? Baron Hannes Dreller, the new master of Glenabarn, Captain Mager Varn, the conqueror of Dunsworth, and finally, the tamer of the Shrike Hills, who put an end to the atrocities of the Staglord's bandits. Step forward. On behalf of the people of the free city of Restal, I confer upon you this noble title. Rise, your grace. Okay. I got the foundation, so... My dear friends, time. We will do some kingdom management before we go into into adventures again. Until then, I wish you good luck and victory. No, oh, no, we'll have to look at that. Capital of the new barony has been built in place of his fort. That was how the long and challenging taming of the stolen lands began. This was a stupid uh, picture because it was a male who brought the things. Okay, welcome, Your Grace. Kasten salutes you. You can see he's a bit anxious, and it seems he'd rehearse he reter re he'd rehearsed his speech many times. Let me once again congratulate you on your victory. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why are you working for me? Did I miss something? While you were visiting rest of much has been done here. Your benefactors, the Eldori, invested a great deal of resources in building the city. I stand ready to answer your questions and show you around the most important sites. Okay, the main question is, where can I get a drink for free? Or free? <laughs> I'll make sure to show you the moment we enter the city. The tavern has the first was the first business that opened. Of course, building a city is firstly work, and um, I beg your forgiveness for my behavior during your reception. I drank a little too much. It is a day for celebration. Where are my companions? They are all somewhere around here, but I never kept an eye on who went where exactly. Well, I assume Tristan is with Jod, and you can always find Lindsay. Just follow the noise and the turmoil. Are there any citizens I should know about? Our old acquaintance Jod is right here. Aristotle's clerics normally don't like cities much, but he's eager to serve you. Also, the emissary from Brevoy is here, waiting for you in the throne room. There's also this curious matter, an 
elf has paid us a visit. A blind elf, Desna only knows how he managed to get here. He seems a peaceful, even pleasant fellow, though naturally a little odd, so I let him stay a while. It's up to you to decide what to do with him. Yeah, this one will um will buy all of our magical stuff. I must admit blah 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 blah. Ready to look around to so blah 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 and dialogue. Okay. So I'm probably stopping here. Yeah, build your house anywhere you want. But if I don't like it, I will stop being there. Uh, yeah, I will stop it being there by bulldozing it now. Yeah, can we just go on? Thank you. Okay, I'll stop here for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Next time we will be a bit further. This place, Your Grace, this is where the Stag Lord's Fortress Wall used to be. Okay, there are some merchants. Mm -hmm. Until then, bye.